Ah, draft science video. So, anyway, in the pursuit of some sort of rational conversation with the physics community, <laughs> yeah, so I did find uh, somebody linked me to this website, Stack Exchange, um, and they have a physics forum, and they do say, um, you know, you can ask questions, and, you know, people answer the questions, and, you know, they're, they say things like, oh, this there's no chit chat, but there is, you know, conversation. Um, and so it does say, you know, you're not supposed to be asking questions, I guess, related to some personal theory. And you're almost like, well, it's physics. I mean, most of physics is still theoretical. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Just quote the authorities? Is that it? Well, apparently, yes, that's exactly what you're supposed to do in science, is just quote the established authority. So anyway, it's only 11 minutes, you know, and I've already got two of these negative things. I don't know what those are, but I've already got two of them, so I guess I'm fucked. I thought it was a rather polite way to ask the question. I mean, there's no way to ask the question, right? I mean, it's, if I answered somebody else's question by explaining how photons aren't what you think they are, you know, they'd probably not let me do that either. So I guess it's just talk Borg, nothing else. And, you know, we're scientists. And we're part of the Borg. <laughs> you know, it's like Mr. Spock belonging to the Borg, voluntarily. And you're just like, why would Mr. Spock join the Borg? <sighs> oh, I have one new answer to this question. Cool. So, my guess here, I'll read the question. My guess is the two-slit experiment will be brought up. And I've sort of explained that, but we'll see. The standard model of the photon describe it as a complex wave-like element containing electrical and magnetic components. What hard evidence supports this description? So that's a harmless enough question, isn't it? Right, that's harmless. Minus two? So I said, as background, I'm just being honest, I ask this question because I would propose, as part of a general force unification theory, that photons are not complex elements. I would claim that a photon is just two or more rudimentary elements, quantons, traveling the same directional vector, separated by a constant distance, and having an orientation of polarization. All wavelengths of radiation are made of the same stuff and it is just the period between constituent elements that defines distinction. More quantons, half a photon, passing a given point in a given amount of time will equal more energy. Thanks, and then I left a website link. Pretty harmless, come on. Harmless. <laughs> harmless! Anyway, let's see what the answer is. In short, cool, wave-like behavior of light is supported by the entire theory of classical electromagnetism. Well, gee, the entire theory of classical electromagnetism. What do you mean? Oh, the established um, bullshit that I just said is bullshit. Oh, okay. The bullshit establishes the bullshit. With 200 years worth of experiments standing behind it. I kind of am asking what experiment, but here we go. This includes things like Young's double slit experiment. Yeah, I got it that one right. Uh, the Pazio Argario spot. Okay, that one I'll have to look up. And indeed, the radio antennas. The radio antennas? Power cables and electrical circuits? Those are photons? Power cables are photons? I think those are electrons. Circuits that make your post on this site possible. Well, whatever. <laughs> the absolute universality of the website you link to is crackpot science, which displays a willful ignorance. Now, wait, this is 15 minutes. Right, so this answer came 12 minutes. 12 fucking minutes after the post of the question. 
and this guy thinks he's read my website or that he's watched a single fucking video, he knows it's crackpot. So this is the integrity of scientists. This is this is the incredible the the, the 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 fucking uh, Emilio Presenti. This is how much credibility his word has. He looks at the cover of the book, says ugly, ugly, me no likey, and that's crackpot science which displays a willful ignorance. It's ignorance of physics. He says, I have ignorance of physics. He, just, he, he figured that out in 12 fucking minutes. Well, it's not even 12 minutes, right? Because he had to read the question first and then go to the website. So he figured it out maybe uh, six minutes. He gave me six fucking minutes, and he figured that out. <sighs> The willful ignorance of physics the author intends to dispute. Well, whatever. I mean, sorry. That's lame, buddy. This whole attitude is lame. Four. Four negatives now. 17 minutes. For, for just a tiny portion of the argument I'm making here. I'm just arguing that photons aren't magical power super brainy smart things figuring out what slit to go through no they go where they're fucking told so you know well i mean what can you say this is this is the these are supposed to be people that are always whining about open-mindedness and all of this crap and they, they are as closed and as rigid as any Borg you could describe. They are as fucking body-snatched Borg fucking obsessed. Do not fuck with my religion. You know, they will not allow you to change a single friggin' bird on the totem pole. Do not tell me there's no God. Do not tell me Einstein could be wrong. Do not tell me Feynman might be full of shit. Do not tell me, you know, Neil deGrasse Tyson isn't the super coolest person on earth. Shit. <laughs> Two more comments already. Oh, cool. Well, at least this site is active, but it's actively Borg. Uh, do not. Do not challenge our authority. All right. Where's the rest here? I don't know. I only see one answer. Okay. The photon is described by quantum electrodynamics. Okay, here we go. That's what I'm saying. It's described as bullshit, and I'm just trying to figure out where there's proof of the bullshit Copenhagen made up crap right it's an excitation in a quantum field it's stuff in the whereabout it's something in the over thereness the nothing is telling the something what to do wow that's so science fucking tific there is a propagating solution that is given by the usual electromagnetic wave equation. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with where you have any evidence that a photon has any magnetic property or any electrical property whatsoever. That it, in fact, just reacts with electrons and that's all it does. It gets absorbed by them or it gets spewed by them, but that's all it does. As for experimental evidence, QED is the most precisely confirmed theory in all of physics. Oh, there we go again. There we go. Quantum electrodynamics is the most precisely confirmed theory in all of physics. The old fucking Piero Borg super line. It is the most established fact in reality. Yes, even more than evolution, it's already proven that fucking photons are wave-like, funny, funky things that don't know where the fuck they're going and just make it up as they go along. We're scientists. That's what we believe. Nothing is telling the something what to do. We're scientists. That's the truth. 
I'm afraid your notion of quantons is fantasy. And you've demonstrated it by doing what, sir? Not understanding or reading or listening to a single fucking thing I've produced as evidence. As this question is now only 21 minutes old, and obviously you only had 17 minutes to produce your analysis, and then you had to type all of this crap, so obviously you only had 12 minutes to produce your analysis. Wow. Fair cop? I don't think so. Welcome to the Physics SE. One, because the background helps center states off topic. Well, gee, again, uh, you know, physicists who aren't open to anyone discussing anything outside of their closed box. Wow, brilliant. Non-mainstream physics, including patches for pitches for personal theories. Yes, okay, fine. What do you, well, all I can say is, is that's the most nonsensical notion I've ever heard. Let's have a conversation about physics, but let's not allow anyone to say anything that might not be accepted by everyone who has a badge. If the badge people don't believe it, it can't be possibly true. Only badge people are allowed to speculate. Well, whatever. I'll just title this, <laughs> just for the hell of it, I guess, right? Uh, Stack Exchange Sucks. <laughs> yeah, what else is there to say? Fuck. Fuck. Fuck scientists. And yeah, still dead. Mostly. Uh, obnoxious beast. So I'll come back to this if there's anything truly interesting as an answer. Um, and, you know, just for memory's sake, I have explained the double slit experiment as the key component being that the difference between the single slit diffraction pattern and the double slit diffraction pattern is that in the double slit you're maximizing the most intense light and the double slit experiment goes right next to the surface of the middle impediment and in the single slit the strongest light is furthest away from any impediments so any surfaces so it's like the difference between light going right next to the Sun and light going five million miles away from the sun. See? Different different atmosphere, different effect. Yeah. I, I imagine people suck. Yeah, people suck. That's a theory I like to. I theorize that human beings have as their primary function suckiness. <laughs> 